As you know, uh, around here on the channel, we do repair things on occasion. And for this Retro Combs Fast Load, we're going to take a look at a new purchase and see if it will actually help me perform a quick repair on a Commodore 128. So what is that product that I have decided to highlight on this Retro Combs Fast Load? It is the iFu Ha! Innovate for us Lithium Precision Screwdriver. <laughs> Okay, so what's wrong with the Commodore 128? Not much, this thing works perfectly. However, I do have an LED that is not lit. Why do I need the iFu? Uh, well, uh, because I am really tired of using manual screwdrivers to get all of these screws out, and especially in these deep little crevices right here. I want something that's going to allow me to get in there quickly, unscrew it, get this thing put back together, and get back to retro computing goodness. Let's see if the iFu can do that for us today. Here we go, here is the iFu box. We've got our Swiss Army knife, not the one that Ms. Slav gave us. Let's go ahead and open up the, the lithium precision screwdriver. Obviously, lithium is referring to the fact that this thing is rechargeable. I'm looking forward to that so we won't have a cable. All right, let's see what we have inside the iFu box. Uh, packaging is pretty nice. See if we can pull this out without making up. All right, so we have the standard little slip cover here. We'll go ahead and pull that off. Uh, MR1 Plus, this is the MR1 Plus if you're looking for it. I'm not going to do a companion blog post for this particular video since it's a fast load and it's a product review. I will just put all the information down in the video description for you. So don't go looking on the blog at stephencombs.com or retrocombs.com for a companion blog post for this. Kind of unnatural for me, isn't it, not to have a blog post. We have everything you need right there. There's the instructions for us. We can pull that up here a little bit so you can see it. All right, enough of that. Let's throw that over there. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we have inside. So the, the case is a top case. It just pops right off. There's no hinge to it whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and put that here. So what I'll do now is go through everything that you get with the iFu. All right, so we get an X-Acto knife. Just put these over here. What else do we get? Over here we have some additional blades. You can see that here. We have a suction cup. And this seems to be a more comprehensive electronics kit because, check this out, we have some nice tweezers. You have a little case here to put your loose screws in. Okay, so we've got both kinds of tweezers. We've got the bent and we've got the straight. Spudger here or remover. A lot of different things you can do with that. We'll put that over here. Guitar pick here, no, it's not a guitar pick, but it is used to pry uh, pieces of plastic, separate them. Here's some more guitar picks here, you can see that. And then we also have this one right here, which is metal, so if you need uh, just a little bit more rigidity, you have that there. What else do we have? This is a, a longer bit. What was happening to me is my screwdriver was it didn't have a long enough bit and I couldn't get into those recesses. Uh, for instance, when you're trying to get into a Commodore C128 and get into there, you need a really long screwdriver. And I won't go through all of them, but then you have some smaller Phillips here. And then you have some additional heads here. And you have the holders here. Uh, one of these right here. I can get a better, get you a better look at these here with this camera. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. So you got that one. That one. Getting tiny now. Look at that one right there. We have this one. And we have this one. So that's a sampling of the different bits we have. Let's go back to the camera. We have down here, we have an extension, which um, the problem with these extensions, much like I said before, is the extensions a lot of times don't fit, but this one will actually get down in there, which is nice. It's a little smaller than most, so that's handy. We do have a USB-C charging cable right here, which is nice. It's a little brush so that we can brush out the uh, the dust and things. Here are some more uh, tools for us for prying and poking and prodding. And this is a wedger, so you can get underneath and wedge those parts out if you need to. And then this one right here is uh, just another one. So you can see the different sizes that we have here.
now for the the big deal the thing the the the, the thing that i bought it for which is this guy right here look at this bad boy let's go back down to the camera so there you go you get a light that turns on and it turns forward and reverse let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like a little closer Forward, backward, and so you can see it, there's your light. Okay, let's go back to the camera. So let me go ahead and put my tools up so that we have everything neat and orderly. Let's see, it looks like uh, we have magnets here. This is a magnetic top. I can tell you right now that if you were to shake this too much, that top is gonna pop off. Now. We got everything out of the box. Let's see if we can get that Commodore 128 opened and find out what's wrong with that power LED. So I'll go ahead and put this into here, right there. Let's give it a shot and see. Definitely got to hold it. There we go. Now we're talking. Let's pop that one in there so we don't lose it. All right, let's do the next one. There we go. Getting used to it here. When there's no power applied, it is just locked into place. So for instance, I could just start using it here, get it started. There we go. So now I've got that one loose and then pull it out the rest of the way. Perfect. Now we're getting there. So here's the big test. Will I be able to get to the one that's down there? So here's what I've learned. I'm not reaching a screw because there's no screw there. I'm missing a screw. Some of you are not surprised by that comment. We should be able to go ahead and just take it apart and check and see why the LED isn't working. Let's go back to the desk. Got an issue with our keyboard here. See that? I'm going to need to fix that while I'm in there too. See that came loose. So we'll fix that. Oh, and here is the spring right here. So I've got some spring issues. What a perfect time. Grab my little tweezers. Look at that probably would be a good point to use a guitar pick there we go see that just popped it right off so it looks like oh yeah yeah yep yeah, yeah. I see exactly what the problem is that is not seated properly so that one pin right there it's missing a pin so we just need to slide all that over one I have that back on the way it should be. Let's go ahead and what I'm gonna do now, and then we'll come back and see if we can fix this. This power supply, I love this little Commodore 128 power supply. This is really nice. Uh, it is a, a third party. I will link to that in the video description down below so that you have that. All right, now the big question is, when I press the power, will the power light come on? There we go, now it's working again. So it just turned out that the connector was one pin over and wasn't working, so that's perfect. Let's go back down there and see if we can get that space bar working. You might be able to see these two little holders right here for the springs. As a matter of fact, there's another spring here, and it seems like what's happened is underneath here, there's these little catches, and those catches did not seat with those springs. And how handy is this? Look at that. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, good. So now, if I've done this right, I should be able just to take this and press. And we are back in business. Check it out. All right, let's take the iFu and put this thing back together. Back to the bench. Now, the last thing I need to do is just charge this thing up. Let's see if we have any kind of charging light and how we know if it is charged or not. So I'm gonna plug it in over here to my USB bank. Aha, I found it. And it's gonna be very difficult for me to show you on this other camera. You can see it, there's a really faint light under here when it's that'll glow red when it's charging. And according to the documentation, when it's fully charged, it will be green. So there is an indicator. It is very faint though. Uh, you'll probably only see it if you are uh, right up to it like this or you're in a dark room. 
So you kind of heard my thoughts throughout the unboxing and use, but what do I think about the iFu? I like it. I like the iFu. I think it's a, for the price. I think it's not a bad deal. I think you could do a lot worse. What is that price? Let's go take a look on the computer and I'll show you. So here's the iFu on the Amazon page. As you can see, it was an Amazon's choice. It's got four and a half, 4.4 out of five stars, which is pretty good. And when we click on the page, you'll see all the information you have. The iFu mini electric screwdriver, 90 in one precision screwdriver set, repair tool for phone, laptop, camera, watch, computer, and Commodore 128. And you can see here it is 49.25. Again, I'll have a link down below. I do recommend it. Again, there were a lot of others that were less expensive, but didn't seem to have the bits that I needed or just didn't have the reviews and ratings I was looking for. All right, so that is my quick unboxing of the iFu Lithium Precision Screwdriver and a quick repair of a Commodore 128 LED and the spacebar. Still works. Again, if you have any questions about anything we covered, it's down below in the video description. Make sure you check out stephencombs.com or retrocombs.com. And remember, you can become a member of the channel with these fun Commodore-inspired membership levels, all the way from VIC-20 all the way up to the Mega-65. And again, the other thing besides retro computing that I like to cover are the tools that help us keep our retro computers alive. So this is one of those videos. So leave your comments below, like, subscribe, Retrocombs out.